Welcome to round five with four color rights. This hand looks like a definite keeper. It's kind of weird, like, Collection Company is really good in this deck, but at the same time, it's not. This is, like, the worst Collection Company deck I've ever played Collection Company in. It's really weird to say that. Um, just, uh... I don't know what it is. I, it just... The rest of, it might just be that the rest of the interactions in your deck um, are just like a little bit more powerful in terms of what they do. And uh, company just doesn't quite do things on the same level. I mean, it does, but like... Uh, I think I want to just dust watch here. Like, Company does a lot of things on very powerful levels, but um, it's like a couple things and not something that just does everything at once. Yeah, Grixis probably. Could be Goggles. I don't... Ooh. This should be interesting. This is not a matchup I've played. I actually... I just haven't played against the card Draconica or time. Kind of excited to do so. It's kind of obnoxious that uh, this deck is kind of soft to the incidental damage just because of, well, yeah, being all pain lands. I think all the flash creatures I've won toughness, so I'm okay trading. Don't really want a company into open mana against this blue nonsense deck. This is the Dimensional Infiltrator Tempo deck, isn't it? I'm mostly waiting because if my opponent plays... Uh, Thunder Break, I want to be able to reflect for it if I hit. I've seen this deck floating around before. It has like Dimensional Infiltrator, uh, Rattle Chains, a couple counter spells, just like nonsense like that. Uh, well, Displacer, Visionary. And if I draw any untapped land, my opponent dies. I'm going to draw Evolving Wilds, aren't I? I think that killed my opponent. Yeah, it does. Well, that does too. And it's cooler just to do it this way. My opponent's going to make me spend the 30 seconds to do this. Uh, yeah, there's just no way the equity on my opponent's side of, you know, making us both wait here for another 30 seconds to start our next match is remotely worth it. Anyways... Uh, I'm going to click Submit. I don't really think I want any of these cards. I don't want Flesh Bag. I, there's too many crappy 2-1s. Don't want Languish. I'm fighting the same fight. Don't want Transgress. They're tempo stuff. This is... Yeah, yeah, we're down here.
The metagame has definitely gotten a little more hostile towards this deck, it feels like. Well, not hostile, it just feels like, uh, more accurately, the text of this deck just straight up beats have just been prayed out of the metagame because it's, A, the deck is very powerful, um, but B, it's also, it's a lot easier than it looks to play semi-proficiently. Like, the punts I'm making are, like, little things. Like, for a four-color deck, it's not like you have weird sequencing. It's just, like, your lands make the mana they make, and then that's it. Like, there's not not really anything else beyond that. Um, there's not, like, weird fetch land sequencing or stuff you have to learn. And then the cards just kind of just go big. And also, the deck's uh, reasonably inexpensive. There's not, like, Jace or, like, any single, like, not, like, a bunch of Planeswalkers or anything. So I think someone said it was the most popular deck day one of Grand Prix New York City. I, it did not surprise me. Um, not huge on this hand, but I think that it does get to do some crazy stuff if I just draw some spells. That's not a spell. Like... I think I uh, would probably keep with uh, Loam, Visionary, Visionary. Just like Loam, Visionary, Loam, though, into five mana the next turn is kind of interesting. That's not the spell I wanted, but okay. So Visionary is the obvious cast. That's a decent spell. Just drop a bunch of dorks. My opponent might have Seismic Rupture in the deck. Cute. Um... So, I don't really care about any of these creatures. I will gladly trade them for damage. If this trades for these two, I'm fine. Yeah, see? And then, play the first threat. My opponent's going to be a spot where they have to answer it probably on their turn for profit. And then I can play the Brew Monitor next turn. Oh, I can't actually, it's a short creature. Maybe I should have only tackled one of these and played the third long drive. That was actually the dragon I was expecting there. Yeah, if I could have cast Groom Monitor this turn, I think my plays get a little better. Not a lot, just a little bit. I wonder if my opponents did... No, they do the thing. So we're going to 8. I think I kind of have to draw a reflector about here to really be okay with what's going on. Especially because I can't take a paint. Well, I can block the Scion, but it's getting low. So, okay. That's a good one. Kind of shocked that Icefall region hasn't seen more play over the course of its life in standard. So, what's going to happen here? I'm going to ride this Abbey and hope that it's good enough. It might be. It really might be if I don't get burned out this turn. This looks like I'm getting burned out. So that's fine. I don't care about that. So 
What are you gonna do with the last couple cards? Yeah. Get a one. I'm going to need to leave back blockers for the fumarole. What is this? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> um, so I actually can't attack anymore. Because I just died at 10 on the swing back. But I can play Abby and pass. My opponent has no good attacks. I can then EOT Abby on tap company. Or more accurately, I can attack and then company. Um, because that way, after the life gain, I can bounce on the break reading with Reflector Mode. I think leaving myself with two lone drives is the best two creatures to be left with. I know about this ice over region because it's on the battlefield. My opponent attacks, they probably have another ice ball. And the correct creature to block is Thunderbreak. So that I can actually break out of this with things. I could also company on end step. Well, company. That's again, that's bad because it's playing to hit a Zulaport instead of a reflector, which is a card that I actually have multiples of. Westfield Abbey leads to some weird game states. Just nine power lifelink creatures that don't die. Like there, there's just some weird Westfield mirrors that occur and stuff like that. Two shots of three. And then I go to ten after the attack and just die. So I think I just have to hope my opponent doesn't hit. And then I still have to hit. Okay. Faded it. Still dead on board, but but we're working our way back out of the hole. Oh, no! Oh, that was so wrong. Uh, I could have survived with Displacer if I played the other one. I just cut my outs by a significant amount. I have to pass because I need to block the Foom Roll when my opponent attacks with it. I guess no. Uh, yeah. I, I guess I don't have to pass here. But yeah, that was a pretty large mistake.
Yep. I get Silumgar scoring as the last card. That's life. Green. There's still a few other ways I can put together a thing. I can hit Sifter. Oh, I'm just getting Counterspell. If I'd main phased it, I would have hit Reflector, Visionary, and would have lived. Yeah, that game mistakes were made, I think. I don't think I can play as if. Uh, maybe I can play as if the last part's in gate. I don't think I want it. Maybe I don't want the combo and I just want to smash them. Some of the combo seems obnoxious. That does make my companies pretty bad. I don't really like that. Maybe I want to go like... I don't know, they make Scions though? Uh, and then Ice Falls pretty good. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Mistakes were made that game. No. Okay. No. Evo is relegated for a yeah. That's a good one. I forgot how I sequence that though. I think I'm supposed to cryptolith next turn and try and bait in a gate. Because company's my only threat right now, it's just such a good threat too. Also a reasonable response. I'm going to agree with this. And then... I'm really all in on this single company. I just need to basically wait until my opponent does a thing. 
and then cast it immediately after. I cannot let my opponent untap at all. They change their mind about it. Ooh, wow, this is an interesting spot. I think I'm just supposed to get Sifter Displacer. The question is if I want... I think Displacer is just better than that, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good set of cards. What am I trying to draw another company so I can just go reflector all day? It's a new card below it either way. I think I actually just want that because I want it on the battlefield because I think enough to work on the battlefield is actually close to lethal here. I do literally just mean the stupidest dorks of all the dorks possible. Not even the relevant ones. That. Infiltrator. Makes the clock a little safer on my end, I think. Thunder break? That's fine. Uh, I wonder if I'm supposed to upkeep this. I think my phone is low enough that I'm not. That was a disappointing draw. I think my opponent was supposed to block the Scion. Well, that would have also been a disappointing draw. I should have cast. I should have played a land there. Just too busy f sixing. Theory I could die here if my opponent had fire impulse. But... I'm in a pretty bad spot actually. <sighs> I think. Ugh, that was not a good end to that, but I deserve to lose that for my play game too. 